We get ready for the first half, the first leg of the Port City 150. Griffith leading the way, picking up speed now. Bacon is ready with the green, it's out there. The Port City 150 is underway. And jumping off on the outside is Billy Griffin. Billy out of Elmira, quickly into the lead. A little jam up there in the back straightaway. Jerry Cook, apparently with troubles in the 41. And Cookie, Cook car. And no laps completed. Out comes a 99 of Jeff Bodine. And down goes the Jack on the 41. It will be a complete restart with the two cock. Here they come, picking up speed again. And again, the green flag is out. We're underway. So watch Bodine and Cook as they start already passing slower cars. Riding that high road out in the lead, the 18 of Billy Griffin. Kent on the outside as Brett Bodine does a loop, hits the inside rail. Something really let go as he really hit that inside rail. That is Brett Bodine, the young brother. Boy, he did hit that wall a real ton there. Crew coming out to look it over to see if it is safe to run. But as we... All right, pace car in, picking up speed. Green flag out. Now, Richie Evans going for the lead. And here he is out there in front. Running that outside groove. as Richie Evans takes the lead here in lap number three. The Duke of Kent trying to stay with him. He's running second. A 26, or 52 rather, of Doug Hewitt moves into third. Hewitt is in first place for the Empire Sweepstakes. And your top, Billy Griffin back in fourth. Billy's right rear tire beginning to smoke here in the corners. And already, the top foursome are uplapping the slower cup. Billy Griffin looks to be burning up that right rear tire. Evans and George Kent now with a clear... Richie Evans out in front. George Kent right there, ready to do battle all the way. Doug Hewitt, who is in first place in the Empire Sweepstakes.
Richie Evans fighting to stay in front. But the Duke of Kent right there second. He won the feature last night at Shangri-La. Well, it is never over until the checkered flag comes down and we've got a new leader. They're in heavy traffic out here. Doug Hewitt, a tight third. And that puts the six of Troyer up there in fourth spot. Jerry Cook is out of it with a 41. Yellow is out. It is a 66, I believe. A brief flare-up from the carburetor. Coming out with a 77, the green is out. We're back underway, and the Duke of Kent has the lead. Maynard Troyer right there in second spot. Day seven of Tom Baldwin running third. Sage Fidanza now up in the number four spot. But the Duke of Kent takes the lead. Chuck Sipridge is now up there in sixth. And running third, Siege Fidanza is fourth. The 81. And Brett Bodine is out of it. Overheating problems in that engine. Dan Mason is running fifth. Chuck Sipridge is sixth. They're already in the top ten. George Kent, your leader. Over Maynard Troyer. Tom Baldwin is still third. Jamie Tomeno into the pits once again as he limped in here on the front straightaway. Dan Mason now going up into fourth spot as Fidanza is in trouble. Sage Fidanza going in out of Perry. In the second of Gene's Machines. Richie Evans beginning to slow down. It looks like it might be that right rear tire that he had already been in to change. Hewitt is fifth. Apparently that right rear tire just wouldn't stand up. Race Maynard Troyer. Tom Baldwin runs third. Danny Mason fourth. Doug Hewitt is fifth. Forty-four laps in. Tom Baldwin of Belport, New York, still in third spot. Danny Mason back there fourth. Doug Hewitt running fifth. Tommy Elliott now is up in six unofficially with Sam. And look out, Tommy Baldwin out of Belport. 
the 50. Spinning over there, and your leader getting right into it. It was the 14 of Tommy Elliott. He was just getting set up to... And you can see the side of that car. I don't know whether George will be able to continue or not. Did Green flag back out and back up to racing speed. Danny Mason. And Doug Hewitt trying to clear traffic there. It's Maynard Troyer now in the lead. The 04 of Danny Mason running second. Tom Baldwin is Baldwin running fourth. Only four cars in the same lap. Sam Rotunda brings out the caution as Sam hits the wall up there, hailing into that wall. The corner man over there to check him out. Dan Mason right there in second spot. Picking up speed, the green is out. Four cars in the same lap. Three of them right there as the Duke of Kent takes over second. George Kent out of Horseheads moves into second spot ahead of Danny Mason. And now George sets off. After later, Maynard Troyer. Tommy Baldwin is fourth in the black number seven. Unofficially, we have the 71 of Zacharias running fifth. And now Troyer and George Kent pulling away from third place, Danny Mason. Fifty-five left in the number two spot. Looking to get around the veteran Maynard Troyer. George Kent certainly recovering from that accident in a hurry. That car running like a bear out there. Danny Mason is still third. Here's the Duke of Kent riding the outside. Unofficially, Danny Mason in third. Tom Baldwin in fourth. Black flag out there for the 79. Bonanza going in with a 79. Troyer, your leader. The Duke of Kent of Tom Baldwin right there fourth. And he is really pushing him. Tom Baldwin has taken over third from Danny Mason. But look at this battle up front. Troyer in the lead. Over the Duke of Kent. Georgie trying to trap him behind the lap car. Couldn't do it. Down the back straight away they sail. Kent trying to get him in behind the lap car to make him over. 
It's Troyer and rallying tremendously here. But the veteran Troyer staving off the challenges. Again, George Kent, seven laps remain. George Kent doing just about everything he can. He's pushing Troyer right to the limit. Here they come with five laps to go. Kent getting up alongside, but has to back out of there. It's Maynard Troyer and George Kent. Four laps to go. In modified racing here at the Oswego Speedway, and it's not over yet. Again, they brushed wheels. Here he is. He's alongside. Troyer being pushed right to the limit. Two laps to go. Maynard Troyer and the Duke of Kent really going at it. He almost got him behind that lap car. White flag is out, this is it. George has got to do it now. Or take that runner-up spot. Maynard Troyer, George Kent, here they come. Up the line. Checkered flag is out, Troyer the winner. Maynard Troyer the winner over George Kent. Third spot goes to the seven of Tommy Baldwin. Unofficially, we have the of car builder Maynard Troyer. A tremendous battle with the 26 out there of George Kent of Horseheads. There he is, Maynard Troyer. Ladies and gentlemen, veteran driver and car builder, Maynard Troyer, winner. The second leg of the Port City 150, the Super Mods to be ready in a few moments here. Fair. Maynard, congratulations. Thank you very much. I'm uh, lucky to hang on. Uh, rear tires were going a little bit, but I decided if I come in and change, I'm going to have to come up through, and I knew George was running strong, and so I think the only thing I could do is just stay there and take my chances. Well, it was an awful long haul today. I wasn't too sure uh, if you were going to be able to hang on or anybody else for that matter. Well, it was uh, the car felt pretty good. I was going pretty good earlier, but then it started getting a little bit loose, and I backed out of it. It took a little bit easy, and the tires seemed to cool down, and uh, from there they seemed to be better. They still were blistered a little bit, but uh, they hung on after I got a chance to get them cooled down. Any way you can take a win. How about the new car? Does that feel pretty good for a first weekend out? Well, it's not bad for the first weekend. It's still not quite right. Uh, not quite like I don't want it, but uh, it's, it's close. You know, we'll uh, be working on some more. It's a little bit loose in the back, but... Uh, We'll get her. Okay, well, Maynard, uh, first time ever Port City three-time victor in the modified division. I want to get this big piece of hardware up there and uh, let the photographers have a few more pictures. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Maynard Troyer.